In this video, I'll explain some troubleshooting tips for Windows 7 startup problems. This would include a message saying, no bootable device, no response when the power button is pressed, a black screen, or other problems that stop your laptop from starting Windows. First, make sure you're connected to AC power in case the battery is dead. Check that the AC adapter is connected to a working electrical socket. If the power is fine, you should perform a power cycle. Please see our other video on how to perform the power cycle. At this point, if nothing appears on the screen, your laptop might need servicing. However, if the screen does come on correctly, but you still can't start Windows, try entering the BIOS and resetting them to defaults. To do this, begin tapping F2 as soon as you start the computer. Once you reach the BIOS, follow the on-screen prompts to reset the settings to defaults. If Windows 7 still won't start correctly, try entering safe mode. To do this, tap F8 after you turn on the computer. Continue tapping it until you reach the Advanced Boot Options screen that looks like this. If you see the Windows logo appear, you should restart and try again. You may also try holding F8 rather than tapping. When you see the Advanced Boot Options, select Safe Mode. If your laptop's unable to load Safe Mode, I'll explain what to do in a moment. If you can start Windows 7 in Safe Mode, Take this opportunity to think about any changes that were recently made to your computer and try undoing those changes. For example, if you just installed something new, you might want to uninstall it. If that doesn't solve the problem, or if you can't think of any recent changes you made, try using System Restore from Safe Mode. Type System Restore in the Start Menu search field and press Enter. Follow the prompts in System Restore, choosing the most recent restore point from before your computer started having this problem. You may also want to take this opportunity to back up your data in case the problem gets worse, and so that you have the option to perform a system recovery to factory defaults with your data safely backed up. If you can't start Windows 7 in safe mode, or if you were able to do so but still couldn't get Windows 7 to start normally, you could try a system recovery. This returns your computer to factory default conditions. For information on this process, please see our other video, Toshiba How To, using the system recovery utility in Windows 7. I hope this video helped you correctly start your Toshiba laptop if it previously couldn't start Windows 7 correctly. For more information, visit support.toshiba.com.